All right, welcome back to the kitchen. We are cooking up some fresh cobia. This cobia was fishing, was swimming around uh, 48 hours ago, and uh, we were lucky enough to get two beautiful uh, fish. So we're gonna show you two ways to prepare it. One is a barbecue. Um, we're gonna smother it in barbecue, and then the other is a, a uh, salt and pepper with a little bit of lemon as well. So we're gonna do it on the grill. We have here some uh, cobia ribs, these in the belly meat. So you can see here, it's pretty white meat. And uh, you know, the uh, membrane falls off on the grill. We're gonna do this in some barbecue sauce. And then we have here a beautiful loin of the cobia. This is skinless, boneless, as you can see. And we're gonna do this one two different ways. One way we're gonna do the barbecue sauce and the other way we're gonna do the salt and pepper with the lemon. So I'm gonna stake it out a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to cook so it doesn't take so long. Here we go. Just like that, looks beautiful. And you can tell, look how white that meat is. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So, let's go and knock knock this out here. We're gonna throw a couple of these in here with the barbecue sauce and we'll do the lemon pepper all on the grill. It's a healthy fish. So we will start with this. We're gonna add some lemon. Here we go, look at that. Looks great. Add a little bit of olive oil. Give it a nice coating there. And we're gonna add some salt and pepper. And give it a nice coating. We have some Lowry's seasoned salt. Look at that, nice, nice. They're thick pieces, so you can you know, give it a nice coating there. Here we go. Add a little more. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Gonna add a little more pepper. more lemon juice there we go get a nice squeeze there all right and then for this guy over here we're just gonna throw in some barbecue sauce so this is some restaurant barbecue sauce that we got we, we like a more of a sweet sauce here we go it's pretty simple and we're gonna go like this smother it look at this Nice and easy, right on the grill. We, we are gonna go. Yeah, right. A little messy, but uh, I'm gonna try it out here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna join me back at the grill, and uh, we'll get these on. All right, we're over here at the grill. We have a uh, napkin with uh, olive oil on it. We're gonna grease the grill, get it ready to go. Make sure you don't burn yourself. The grill has been going for a little bit, so it's nice and hot. We've cleaned it. We've gotten our money out of this grill, so we're, we're all set here. Come on over here as well, you know, we gotta use this. All right. So, let's throw on here, here's the lemon, pepper, uh, and seasoned salt. Nice cobia. Get that searing sound. Look at that. That sounds good. Okay. And we're going to throw here also, we have the barbecue version. Ideally, you'd want to let it marinate for, you know, 30 minutes or so. But we're running out of daylight, so we're just going to throw it on there. Wintertime fishing, no daylight. There we go, look at that, those, those drips look good. Nice. And Kobe, like I said, are a, uh, you know, it's a very efficient lean lean meat, so it's not as fatty, and it's uh, really good to eat. It's a firm, firm fix, fish, and it has a buttery taste to it as well. It, these steaks are almost like a beef steak. It, it's kind of a firmness to it. 
So there's a lot of muscle in it. Getting a nice white around the edges there. Looking good, smells good. Traditionally, I would throw out the ribs, so this is the first time we're trying the ribs. Um, so we'll see how they taste, but it uh, should be exciting. And this grill is on like a medium, medium high heat. We've gotten our money out of it, so let's see. This looking nice and white there not sticking which is good always flip these and see how they're looking oh that looks nice 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 white charred marks there look at that flip the ribs Dump a little bit of the sauce on there too. Might as well use it, right? Cleaning out the fridge with this extra sauce. Might as well let it uh, put it to good use there. And then we got the lemon butter sauce as well. Dump that on there. Without burning yourself. Looking nice. Let's see here. Now I didn't make these as thick as a normal, uh, normal black and red, uh, black and uh, cobia, so they should cook a lot quicker. There we go. Look at that. Looking nice and white. I'm going to come in here with the fork and see how we're looking. So we're in February and we're out here grilling in northern Florida while the, half the country is covered under snow. Still have a little bit to go. We, and during the winter time in the early spring we got a nice cobia run so we have a video up on us catching these cobia and, and as well as some red snapper, so you have to check that, that that video out. It's a pretty good one. The problem with the winter wintertime fishing is just getting the weather window to cooperate. As I say with all my fish, you want to make sure you do not overcook them. So even if you have to test them to say, hey, how they look, you know, you don't want to overcook them. So these, these have a little bit to go. There we go. Try the ribs for the first time. Salt and pepper up front, up top here. And then we have a couple barbecue steaks right here, there are mini steaks. And then of course we have the barbecue ribs, cobia ribs. And we're gonna let you know which one tastes better.
Cobia have a nice diet. They like to eat uh, crabs, live bait, squid. They're hanging out, you know, lower in the col water column to half to midway in the water column. They'll come to the surface as well. They like shade, so you'll be fi sometimes you'll be fishing and a cobia will just pop up right next to the boat, looking for uh, looking for that shade. They hang around big sharks and big rays, the manta rays that come through. Looking good. I'm thinking we're getting close. Let me pull one off and just test it. It's easier to test it on the uh, on the plate here. So this is the lemon. Let's see there. Nice and white. Look at that. try it wow that's really good let's see how these other ones look let's try the barbecue ones nice moist piece here flip these ribs over I think we're getting close on these too, so let me pull one off and just to see. Let's see here, here's the barbecue. Oh yeah, that's done right there. Let's try it real quick. Wow, that's also really delicious. All right, I think these are all done. I don't know which one I like more. Let's pull this guy off right here. Salt and pepper, lemon. There you go. All right, let's see how the ribs are looking. Like right, these over here. I think that guy's looking good too. Let's see. So here. Hmm. Look at that. That's perfect. So we we made it we've made it blackened and then we have this lemon butter, salt and pepper, and then the barbecue. Honestly they're they're all really good. I think I actually prefer the grill. If I had this at a restaurant, I would be impressed. Wow. I think I'd prefer it over the, on the grill, over the blackened, and I love blackened fish. Everyone was right about this recipe. Wow. And this is really simple, easy to make. That looks good. Let's see here. I think these ribs here are done. Let's see here. Yep. See how it's white there? It's it's kind of breaking out, cracking a little bit. It's done. So like I said, I've never had the ribs before, so this is gonna be a new experiment for us. You can remove the membrane. Where is it? They say the membrane just peels right off. Let's try it. Oh, look at that. Boom. That was that white part. Wow. Look at that. Just right off. Let me see these ribs over here. These ribs look a little bit better. More of a, a bigger piece there. I'm going to cook them for a little bit longer. Let's go back to this piece over here. The ribs, the, let's see here. Let's try this. Wow, look how juicy and white that looks. 
Wow. Yeah, these are really good. Good call on the ribs. A piece, of, so these are done here. There we go. Nice baby backs, right? Let's see here, we'll pull off the membrane again. Maybe start from up here. Wow, look at that, it just peels right off. Easy to do. There's the ribs there, the ribs just pull out. Let's do that. Look at that, there's the rib. And we can toss that guy out, look at that. These just pull right up. Let's try a piece, piece from over here. Wow, these are really good. Who would have thought? But we, we learned on the tuna belly that the tuna belly was the best part, so this makes sense. I mean, this is just as good as the, as the cobia steak. Wow, very good. Highly recommend both recipes. I like it blackened as well. And uh, look, like and subscribe this video, the channel. We're gonna have a lot of good content coming up and we'll see you guys soon.